square back. I'm going to line it up. Again, we're going to continue going around. I always like to just keep going uh, with a simpler shape, so I'm actually just going to come clockwise to 6 o'clock and I'm going to do this guy. And again, don't cut all of these pieces all out at once because if they fall on the floor or another student grabs them, they might accidentally glue your pieces on to their project. Once your piece is cut, we'll line our square back up. We'll put our cutout piece back like a puzzle. And we're going to go ahead and flip it. Remember, everything moves around a lot, so before you do any tracing, you want to make sure that everything is lined up. Line up my corners here. Now I can go ahead and I can trace my flipped piece. I'll go around all the sides. I'll move this guy out of the way because right now I know where I'm going to be gluing him. And this is why it's so important that we're actually watching the videos because a lot of kids will go ahead and they'll glue this uh, down, but we don't want to forget about our inside shape. It's what creates the really cool pattern with our positive and negative space as well as our color pattern of complementary colors. So before we do any gluing, we need to cut out that middle piece. If you're like me, um, after we've been picking it up and cutting and picking it up and cutting, uh, you might forget what side is the top side and what side is the bottom side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay this down and if it's not matching up, I know that I need to flip it. So now it's the right way. I'm going to put this shape down as well so that it fits inside. We have one more thing to trace. I'm going to hold the big shape with my left hand. And if you're right-handed, you'll hold it with your right. I'm going to make sure that my shapes are lined up and touching at the corners. We don't need to worry about this shape anymore because we've already traced it. So without moving this one, I'm gonna slowly trace where I want it to go. Again, we're drawing around the shapes so that when we glue them down, we know exactly where they go and we're not guessing. So I'm gonna put all my pieces in the right spot because I wanna make sure everything is correct before I start gluing. So it looks pretty good. We have positive space, negative, positive space, negative, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. Same thing here, positive, negative, positive, negative, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. So there's two patterns happening, one with our shapes and one with our color. I'll move this big guy out of the way. I'm going to start with the smaller piece first. Again, you're lifting it straight up and then we need to flip it to put the glue on. 
So I'm gonna move my piece over off to the cardboard, grab my glue stick. Again, because these pieces are small, I'm gonna go ahead and apply glue over the entire thing, but definitely making sure that the glue is covering up my entire edge. We can pick it up. And I'm going to line it up with my pencil marks. And right now it's very loose, where if I made a mistake or I need to pick it up and move it, I still can. But once I'm happy with where it's at, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna push and hold down. Count to five. And then I'm just gonna take my finger, rub around the edges. I'll make sure that my big piece lines up. And again, I'm gonna lift this piece up and flip it and bring it over to my cardboard. I'll grab my glue. Go around my outside edges. Now, this is a little bit bigger of a piece, so I'm not too worried about the center as long as I have glue around the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this guy up, flip it so that the glue is on the bottom. I'm going to line up my corners first and I'm just going to push lightly to make sure that everything looks right and then I'm going to push and hold. I'm going to move my hand over, push and hold. And last I can take my fingers and I can rub around the outside edges. I'll put my big piece back.